So in about a week's time, I'm going to be going on my first ever bike tour from here in Toronto all the way to Montreal. And I've just wrapped up the finishing touches on my hybrid bike to touring bike conversion. And so I thought I'd walk you through the changes I made to the bike and hopefully this will be useful to somebody who's thinking about doing a similar sort of thing to their hybrids. Uh, so the first and most major change I made to the bike was uh, putting on these butterfly style handlebars. Um, and I'm really, really liking these. I've had about a month uh, to test them out. And what I like is that they give you an equivalent position to the previous flat bars that were on this bike uh, out here on the side. But then you also get a number of positions in between. Um, if you wanted to be a little bit more upright, you can hang out back here. A little bit more stretched out, you can be over here. And then a neat thing you can also do is um, if you rest your elbows, or your forearm rather, uh, on the bars here, you can actually get into a pretty good aero tuck position, which I think will be uh, pretty useful for those windy days on the road. Uh, one thing to note though, if you are going to make uh, put these particular set of uh, handlebars on your bike, uh, this one's from Nash Bar, um, the clamp diameter on this particular set is 25.4. Um, the old stem I had on here was 31.8. Um, so I had to get a new stem to fit these into my bike. The uh, next change I made to the bike was to putting on this Topeak rear rack, a little bit more heavy duty uh, than the stock rack that came with the bike. I uh, also put on these Planet Bike rear fenders and front fender. Um, the thing with these is this metal rod that connects the fender to your bike is actually a bit too long here and was knocking against the down tube. So I actually had to cut this this rod uh, about an inch and a half in order to stop the the rod from knocking against the tube here. Um, next thing I did was put on a Tubus Tara front rack and I actually ordered one uh, front rack from Nash Bar but it didn't fit my particular this particular fork. Uh, this is a 2013 giant escape city and um this one's really great uh one thing to note though is if you have the old or if you have panniers that have this uh j hook uh, attachment mechanism um at least my particular set of panniers uh the hook is a bit too small to attach on uh, this bottom strut of the rack um so what i had to do was fashion an attachment point here with an old um, an old coat, coat hanger and attach it with uh, some hose clamps. Um, it's not the prettiest solution, um, but it does work and it keeps them on there securely. Uh, I know Tubus does make a um, pannier loop, is what I think what they call them, um, for this particular rack. Um, and I did order one, but they, the, com the company I had ordered from had sent me the uh, wrong size of pannier loop. Um, it comes in two versions, a 10 millimeter and a 14 millimeter, and they sent me the 10 millimeter by mistake. Um, for the Tubus Tara, you need a 14 millimeter, the 14 millimeter version um, for this size of tubing. And uh, I didn't have time to order a new one and have it sent to me um, for the tour, um, so I had to make do with this DIY uh, solution instead. Uh, we also have Shimano SPD pedals on there. And uh, something interesting I did, and I'm not too sure about this decision, is that I put a 11 to 30 cassette. Um, I'd replaced my old 11 to 32, and I put 11 to 30 on here because that's what they had at the shop. Um, so I have a 32 big ring. And um, having tested the bike fully loaded, um, going up some pretty steep hills, it does feel, it is a little difficult to get uphill. Um, I think those two teeth do make quite a big of difference. Um, so perhaps in the near future, I will swap it out for a proper 11 to 32 again. Uh, we also have Schwalbe Marathon tires, uh, Marathon Pluses. Um, seems like everybody has these on their bike and so they kind of speak for themselves. So yeah, that's an overview of all the changes I've made to my bike. Um, she works well and I think she'll be well suited for this first tour and hopefully for 
many adventures down the road. I uh, wasn't quite ready to drop like 2,000 bucks for a long haul trucker or a Kona Sutra, as nice as those are. Um, but for a couple hundred bucks, I think, uh, I think I've created something that's going to uh, do a pretty good job. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got some value out of that. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.